Then Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the 99 in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. I tell you that in the same way there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not need to repent. Now, I'm not suggesting that team leaders are like Jesus, but I am saying that we can emulate his actions and not forget that one that seems to be straying from the team. In today's 5-Minute Friday, the parable of the lost team member, I'm going to share three ways that team leaders can re-engage, communicate with, and rebuild trust with a lost member of their team. But first, welcome to the Hope is Not a Plan podcast, where we address tough questions head on, face our problems, and highlight our hopes by providing actionable planning steps to improve ourselves, mind, body, and spirit. Now, let's get logged in and get locked on to this episode of the Hope is Not a Plan podcast. Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming back to the Hope is Not a Plan podcast. I am your host, Kevin Pinnell. I have been in project management and public safety for most of my adult life, leading teams and programs and all that good stuff. And that's where I realized that hope is indeed not a plan. Certainly, we need hope, but it needs to be fueled by some actionable steps. And today, I'm going to talk about, it's based on the parable that Jesus provided folks about a lost sheep, but it's really about a lost member of your team. Have you had you as that person where you've lost interest or something's happened or maybe a member of your team has had that experience? I think we've all been exposed to or have been that person. And there are ways that you, if you're the leader, can help re-engage that person, communicate with them, and rebuild trust. Just like it is important for a shepherd to not lose sight and let go of one of their sheep, it is important for team leaders to keep all of their folks engaged, not just the majority. Please visit hopeisnotaplan.org for more planning resources, more episodes like this about how you can take your hopes, build a plan, build those seven pillars for a balanced life. There's foundational five key elements for any good plan. And let's get into three elements that I'm going to share today. The first is targeted re-engagement, right? Just like in the parable and in, in practical life, if the shepherd loses or sees a stray sheep, right? They recognize it because they know their flock, just like a team leader can recognize when someone's starting to get distanced. I have been burnt out before, and it's probably obvious in my work, right? It's not as efficient. I'm not as interactive. I'm not as happy. I don't talk to folks. I don't, you know, act the, the way I did or interact with folks as much as I did or at all. And that's where we need to see, oh, I've noticed a change in John or Jane Doe, and I need to to re-engage that person. And maybe... That's through giving them a challenging task. Hey, I know you have this skill. I really could use your help in this, right? And and give them an assignment that can help refocus them or give them that purpose, right? It can rebuild their confidence. It can show the value that you see in them and solicit their opinions in the meetings so they are actively contributing. Um, and maybe they don't feel like it, but you are going to re-engage them to let them know, hey, I see you. I see you. And and talk. And that's the second thing is open communication. You have to have built that relationship, that rapport. And that's important. And so sometimes they feel unheard, right? That's why those regular one-on-one -on -one meetings with our team members are critical, right? And there could be some issue that's not even you. It's something outside of work that's affecting them. And you don't have to know all the details depending on your relationship with them. But it's good to know that, hey, yeah, there's stuff happening outside. It's health of a family member or it's fine, or whatever it is. But then you know, okay, it's not just work. It's not this. How can I help here to lessen the burden on you there, right? And you address them directly and with that person to their comfort level. So we're going to re-engage with those, those regular meetings and we're going to be open in our communication. And then we're going to rebuild trust through action, right? We're going to, after we've had our one-on-ones, after we've re-engaged, we're going to have taken those notes on what they said and what I could do better or they could or our expectations and it's clear and kind of the whole situation. And then we are going to make sure that we follow up on those actions and those discussions, right? And maybe we pair them up with a team member, with a teammate, where that team member can help build their skill or vice versa, you know, like the re-engagement. We can say, hey, we could really use your skill and help building this other person up and giving them interactions with the team that they may not choose to because maybe they're disconnected, right? That happens. We are physically disconnected so much these days 
that we have to be proactive in how we do that. That's why a regular team stand up is good. That's why those one on ones are important. And then in your project teams, and that's for the folks that work for you. And then in your project team, same thing, regular cadence, one on ones with key people on the project team. But it really is about if we have a team member that seems to be wandering off or disconnecting or, you know, whatever it is, or they share something with us, we need to re-engage them, stay engaged, not just push it off if you're uncomfortable. If you're uncomfortable with helping folks in a hard time, then you shouldn't be a leader. We need to have open communication and we need to rebuild that trust through action that we told them we would take. Thank you all for taking the action to hit play on this Hope Is Not A Plan podcast Five Minute Friday, episode 17, the parable of the lost team member. I think it's a good example for us to emulate is care about that one in addition to the 99 or above when that one is lost and the other are fine. Hope is not a plan.org. Hope is not a plan. Facebook and YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is kicking up to 450,000 views. That's awesome. Fitness 15 seconds at a time. I am at Hope's not a plan. Twitter and Instagram. Thank you so much. Stay safe out there. Don't forget that one lost team member and Godspeed, y'all.